Professor Clements with you. We're going to be talking about uh, constellations and seasons and a few other topics uh, mixed in. Asterisms we'll cover with constellations. That'll be in this video. You might check for another video on uh, the apparent motion of the sun in the sky and the tilt of the Earth's rotation axis and seasons. And then another short video talking about circumpolar stars. But let's go ahead and uh, talk about asterisms and constellations. The asterisms are star patterns, more dot to dot among the stars. An example would be the Big Dipper, uh, the three stars that make the handle and the four stars that make a bowl, similar uh, for the Little Dipper. And we have the teapot in Sagittarius. Um, we have the Summer Triangle would be an asterism. But these are not official uh, names. Anyone can invent an asterism, a star pattern. Uh, so you know, have fun with that. You can try that sometime. Um, these star name, these asterism names might change from country to country. You know, we have the Big Dipper. Um, in other countries, it's called the Plow or the Wagon. Um, different is the are the constellations. The constellations are not dot to dot star patterns, but the constellations are areas of the sky and they have more official sounding names. Uh, Ursa Major, which the common name is the large bear. Ursa Minor is the small bear. Uh, Ursa Major includes the Big Dipper in that part of the sky and uh, Ursa Minor, the small bear, uh, the Little Dipper is part of that. Uh, Sagittarius includes the teapot. But these are areas of the sky, something like uh, the states of the United States. Nebraska is a certain area on the map. Iowa is a certain area. Illinois is a certain area. The constellations also have areas, and they have boundaries that were set in 1930 by an international group of astronomers and uh, uh, really established firm boundaries and firm names for the constellations all across the sky. There are 88 of these official areas of the sky. They're not all the same size. Just like the United States, the states are not all the same area. Uh, all countries, though, uh, do follow the list of official constellations. Um, so as an example, here we have Ursa Major, the Large Bear. Uh, the Big Dipper would be these three stars that form the handle of the Big Dipper and these four stars that make the bowl of the Big Dipper. You can see that the bear, the large bear, is much larger than the asterism. Ursa Major, this constellation is much larger than the asterism. And I'm not going to draw in that there are straight lines that surround these uh, uh, constellations. Uh, the asterism is a star pattern. It does not have an official name. The constellation is an area of the sky, and it does have an official name. The constellations are very useful to astronomers in locating objects, communicating the location to other astronomers, and, and they have some interest here. The mythological uh, animals and people and objects um, led to the formation of these constellations and an active imagination, and certainly an active imagination looking at the sky and uh, inventing these constellations by the ancient astronomers. Um, the constellations that we see do change from month to month. So here we have the Earth going around its orbit around the Sun. This is not to scale. The Sun should be quite a bit smaller. No, so should the Earth. Um, but if we're in this particular uh, situation, um, gazing out at the sun, of course, that makes a blue sky around the sun if we're, the sun's above the horizon. So on the side of the earth that's between the earth and the sun, uh, the sky would be blue. The blue sky is brighter than starlight, so we would not see Virgo and uh, other constellations that are over in this area of the sky. Uh, instead, we would see back in this area of the sky, standing on this side of the earth, and looking back at this uh, section of the sky, we could see these constellations. The Earth is moving in its orbit, so in a month, it covers one-twelfth of the whole orbit. So in the next month, the Earth would be over here, and we would see these uh, stars very well. But the stars over here would be obscured by the uh, blue sky. 
another month later the Earth is over here and we would not be able to see the constellations in this section of the sky and so forth and so on. Um, the constellations we see in the evening or at midnight, those change from month to month because the Earth is moving around the Sun and we cannot see the stars where uh, the Sun is making the, the blue sky bright. Um, so constellations change from month to month and I'll be uh, you know, just reinforcing that as the course goes along and the motion of the Earth around the Sun. We have asterisms, star patterns that are dot to dot. We have constellations that have official names and are areas of the sky. So you should read about that, review that, and uh, ask questions in class. But that's where this video will stop.